हेलो टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट सरफेस केमिस्ट्री व्हिच इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड सरफेस केमिस्ट्री I will start this lesson with difference between adsorption and absorption. In adsorption accumulation of accumulation of molecular species species take place at surface of solid or liquid but in absorption accumulation of molecular species take place at surface as well as in the bulk means in adsorption molecule are adsorb accumulated only at the surface but in absorption molecules are adsorb not only at the surface but they also penetrate it they moves inside the substance next difference since adsorption takes place at surface therefore it is surface phenomena absorption takes place surface and in the bulk also therefore it is bulk phenomena in adsorption the rate of adsorption decreases on increasing temperature hence we may write it decreases with rise of temperature while in absorption it takes place with uniform speed it take place take place with uniform speed speed this is the major differences between adsorption and absorption in this chapter we will thoroughly study it about the adsorption
about the ab adsorption okay now example of adsorption examples of adsorption number 1 removal of moisture moisture from air by silica gel and other example is decolorization of sugar by active charcoal third third removal of poisonous gas by activated charcoal in mask used by mine workers these are the common example of adsorption now what it adsorb bait and what is adsorb bent add sorbet and add sorbent adsorbate these are those molecular species which undergo adsorption what are adsorbate these are those solid which or you may say at surface of which not which at surface of which at surface of which adsorption occur absorption occur means if if at surface of a gaseous molecules of b are adsorbing then a is called ad sor bent while these molecules of b are called ad sor bent now type of adsorption 
types of adsorption on the basis of interaction between adsorbate and adsorbent adsorption are of two types two types and this type is based on interaction between adsorbate and adsorbent now first is physical adsorption and next is chemical adsorption in physical adsorption weak van der waal force van der waal force act between adsorbate and adsorbent in chemical adsorption a chemical bond is formed between adsorbate and add zor bent now physical adsorption is reversible means it is easy to dissolve desorption is just inverse of adsorption it is irreversible irreversible next it is not specific not specific it is specific not specific means anything can be absorbed but specific means a particular molecule can be absorbed not everyone it is uni sorry it is multi cellular but it is uni cellular what does it means means in multi cellular means if this is a adsorbent then many layer this is one layer of adsorbate and on this layer other layer of adsorbate may also be formed this is second layer and may also be third layer multicellular many layer can be forms but in unicellular means if this is a adsorbent then only a single layer of adsorbate can be adsorbed no other layer upon it then its enthalpy of add absorption is less its value is around 22 at kilo joule per mole while in chemical adsorption 
एंथेल्पी ऑफ एडजॉपन इज हाई इट इज अराउंड एट्टी टू टू फोर्टी किलो जूल मोल इनवर्स This is the basic difference between chemical adsorption and physical adsorption. Now, adsorption isotherm. Adsorption isotherm. this is a graph drawn at constant temperature that is why it is called isotherm and this graph is given by in friendlich therefore it is also called friendlich adsorption isotherm isotherm in friendlich adsorption isotherm we draw a graph between pressure and x by m x by x is the mole fraction of adsorbate per unit mass of adsorbent and we get this graph of this type it has three part linear part then curve part then horizontal part this is o A, B, and C. OA part is called low pressure zone. AB part, which is curve part, is moderate pressure zone. And BC part, this part is high pressure zone. High pressure zone. friendlich has given an equation which is x by m proportional to p to the power 1 upon n where 1 upon n lies between 0 to 1 at high pressure zone at high pressure zone value of 1 by n is 0 means x by m proportional to p to the power 0 yani in this zone x by m is independent of pressure at moderate pressure zone प्रेशर जोन वैल्यू ऑफ वन अपॉन एन लेस देन वन बट ग्रेटर देन जीरो मीन्स एक्स बाई एम प्रपोर्शनल टू पी टू दावर वन बाई एम दिस इज कर्व जोन नाउ एट लो प्रेशर जोन pressure zone value of 1 upon n is 1 means x by m proportional to the power p this is dietary portion this is linear part okay so that's all in today's class and
the next part of this chapter we will study in the next class till then thank you